As you probably can guess, I am not a Buddha, nor would I say I'm anywhere close to being one. So how can I claim to know that Tantra works for reaching enlightenment without having reached that state myself? That's a great question that Pravat Pravat asked in the video, Six Questions About Tantra Answered. So let's break this important topic down. Namaskar. Welcome back to Tantra Thoughts. In this channel, I can help you have a better relationship with yourself and the universe through meditation techniques, tantric wisdom, personal development, and spiritual community. So how do I know that moksha or enlightenment is real? I cannot know if moksha is real. Not in the same way I might know a telephone is real. A telephone appears real because I can see it with my eyes, I can touch it with my hands, I can listen to someone's voice on the other end with my ears. However, connecting with the Supreme Consciousness happens beyond my senses and beyond my intellect. To think that something may possibly not exist because I haven't seen it with my eyes or because I haven't fully grasped it with my intellect is to deny that human beings possess intuition. Intuition is what happens beyond the senses and beyond the intellect. For example, you might listen to a beautiful piece of music thanks to your ears. But the pleasure you feel from listening to the music is beyond the use of your ears. Your ears capture sound, but your intuition captures talent, melody, emotion, or a sense of aesthetics. If I put a Van Gogh painting in front of you, your eyes might see art, but your intuition will see the masterpiece that it is and feel what the artist was trying to express through the painting. Intuition troubles scientists because it cannot be measured. But regardless of that, much like your intellect, intuition can be developed and strengthened over time through spiritual development and practice. How can you know the secrets of the universe, develop your insight, be more perceptive and intuitive? Merge your mind with the mind that knows all things, more and more, by meditating on it. The quest to self-realization and to realize Supreme Consciousness will not be guided by your intellect, although intellect and reason must be there as your base. Rather, self-realization will be guided by intuition. You will not see the Supreme because the Supreme is bigger than anything you can imagine. You will only feel the Supreme. You'll try to look for the Supreme outside of yourself as evidence that it exists or that you can merge with it. But intuition facilitates the process of looking within and finding the Supreme within. Meditation is not an intellectual process. Although you do need knowledge and your intellect to understand important concepts. But I can't tell you repeat your mantra 5087 times and you'll attain liberation because it doesn't work that way. It's an intuitional process. You can only feel your way there. You may attain liberation, but not because of an exact number of times you repeated a mantra or because you repeated a specific mantra, but rather because of how strong your feeling and desire was to reach liberation. And that cannot be measured. So neither you nor I should rely solely on our intellect to do spiritual work. We must rely on intuition and grace. If you and I become enlightened, it will be in part because of our intuition, but ultimately it is by the grace of the Supreme Consciousness. How do I know that what I teach will lead you to be one with the Supreme Consciousness if I haven't experienced that fully myself? Well, I admit I have not attained the goal. So if you want, you can search for a guru that has attained realization and he or she will have to prove to you that in fact they have attained the goal without any doubt. If you learn from one like that, then you are truly blessed. I learn from one like that. I have my own guru. So I know just how special that is. What I'm doing is passing on the teachings of my guru that worked for me and I know can work for you. I do not know for certain in an intellectual sense that I'm moving in the right direction. I know purely as a devotee that perceives the Supreme Consciousness in the universe 
and has a feeling of being guided every step of the way. When you feel that, you will know that you're on the right track in your practice. Want to learn more about the goal of Tantra and how you can expand your mind to merge with Supreme Consciousness? Watch this video right over here to learn about how to reach enlightenment through Tantra. Click right there and we'll continue this conversation. Namaskar.